Hello Cancer, Cancer Rising, and Cancer Moon people, this is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting May 8th, 2017. And a quick reminder for you guys, if you do ever want to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. That's where you can use the self-scheduling application that's on there to actually see my availability and plug yourself in. Or you can get a downloadable video file. The choice is yours. So, what is going on? with your astrology this week in the Cancer world. Well, it's actually a great week astrologically for everybody. Um, on Tuesday, we've got the Sun in Taurus in your 11th house of friendships and social networking, forming a gorgeous connection to Pluto, currently retrograde in your 7th house of partnerships. And this could actually be deepening a relationship, uh, one of your closest one-on-one -on -one relationships. Again, this could be boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, BFF, business partner, roommate, whatever. Uh, something that has actually kind of, you know, maybe distanced in recent weeks or months. You know, what have we, who have we gotten distant from that's normally very close to us? You know, this week is going to, especially Tuesday and Wednesday, going to be all about how do we reconnect? How do we get that energy back, that, you know, that, that equal exchange, that loving connection back in our lives? There's going to be an opportunity to rebond or reset the glue um, in this connection, which is really, really nice, you know, because sometimes we do go distant, you know, sometimes as people get, you know, preoccupied with other things, sometimes, you know, people aren't really, like, all contributing what they can to the friendship or to the relationship, what it is. However, sometimes all it takes is an occasion to make it happen, um, which is nice because, you know, we don't want to have to do things with nagging. And this actually will, I think, you know, again, re-cement a very important, powerful bond that you used to have. Later on the week, we've got Mars, planet of action and energy, in your 12th house of your past, your privacy, your hidden zone, forming a gorgeous connection to Jupiter, currently retrograde in your 4th house of home and family. And this can actually be really nice for a lot of you who are trying to maybe um, not only boost your home finances, but also maybe get something back. Maybe it's a material object, or maybe it's money coming to you from your past, as it may relate to a relative, a family member, or possibly even uh, seeing the increase in the value of an investment that you have made um, when it comes to your home, maybe the value of your home, or something that you and your family have held onto for a long time, and it may be time to cash in. So a very interesting turn of events, again, especially Thursday and Friday there. So what's going on with your uh, cards this week? Well, for your spiritual advice, what's going to get you through the week, we do have the Cunning Woman. And the Cunning Woman talks about, you know, making sure that we temper ourselves and make sure that we don't let our reactions come too quickly. Because things tend to take a long time to develop when this card shows up, which can also indicate a piece of advice, you know, be patient and let things play out. Now, that might sound like a bit of a New Age platitude, and you know I'm not about that. But what I really mean to say is, if you start getting news... Okay, if you start seeing things going on, if people at work or your friends or relatives, whatever, start, you know, kind of hinting things, putting things out there, instantaneous reactivity is not the answer. We're going to be getting information, um, you know, and seeing things develop in a piecemeal kind of way. And so a premature reaction could be an inappropriate reaction. Um, not inappropriate in terms of right and wrong, but just inaccurate. And usually with the cunning woman, it's basically saying, okay, let, let things play out a little bit. Let things develop. It's, all, it's timing your strike. It's being more like the sniper than the infantryman. Because what can happen this week is that if you do kind of just go off half-cocked or you do take somebody at their word in the moment, again, that's not the consistent truth of what's actually developing. So it's important to, again, let things play out until you know conclusively what's done is done. Because, again, there's a lot of misunderstandings. You know, it's kind of like watching two people having a conversation, you know, in a restaurant across the street. We don't want to assume we know what they're talking about until we find out what they're talking about. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. This week can be good, um, but the Knight of Pentacles reversed can also share its you know, fair share of difficulties in its energy. Um, on the financial front, on the money front, just the, the physical money, cash flow, profit area, this is a great card to have. It does indicate rapid growth, rapid wealth, um, and things kind of flowing into you easily. In fact, possibly a lot 
in a way that's too much. Um, because the Knight of Pentacles reverse can also indicate something all-consuming uh, when it comes to work, when it comes to money. Um, yes, we are getting paid out, but there's no opportunity to actually enjoy it. Uh, this could be a new job opportunity brought on the table, and all of a sudden it's not, we're not really easing into this, we're kind of thrown to the wolves. The Knight of Pentacles reverse could also indicate, you know, a need for you to pay attention to where we may be biting off a bit too much over volunteering ourselves. Because again, this is kind of stacking on too many responsibilities, we're kind of blinded by the opportunity for, again, an easy cash flow, but how much are we really going to be able to complete? We don't want to be in a situation where we say, yes, we'll take on too much, and then it all happens too late, or it never all gets done on time. There's a risk that needs to be assessed here with that card. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life, we do have the Page of Cups reversed. And this card can indicate that, you know, we want to pay attention this week to people who might not be getting a message, that they are crowding us a little bit. This could be a friend, a relative, somebody who's possibly got their heart in the right place, but with the Page of Cups reversed, it's unwanted attention, even if it's unwanted good attention. You know, sometimes we have those situations show up where a person wants to hang out, we expect to hang out for two hours or so, and the, but we still have other things to do, and then they take up the whole damn day. Sometimes with the Page of Cups reversed, it could be somebody trying to win you over or butter you up so much that it's actually a big turnoff. And with the Page of Cups reversed is basically saying, on some level, we are not actually making that known to that person, and we may be inadvertently leading them on to think they are making the right decisions or doing right by us when they are not. And that calls for quick correction if it does become the problem that it looks like with the Page of Cups reversed, and that's on you. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Ace of Wands upright. And I think that this week, you know, with the Ace of Wands upright, be careful what you do for stimulation. You know, sometimes we try to shake things up just for the sake of change. Um, and now, if those are not well calculated, not well thought out, that can be a form of self-sabotage. You know, wherever we're trying to shake things up, oh, I need change, I need this to be crazier, I want that thrill, I want that rush. Be so careful when the Ace of Wands is a challenge. You know, it's good to honor when you're bored, when you're burnt out, it's good to acknowledge that situation. But again, follow the energy of the cunning woman. It's not something where we just kind of throw all the cards out on the table all at once. Because what happens with the, you know, with the Ace of Wands is a challenge, is again, sometimes a shakeup might not necessarily even be what we what we mean to do. It can actually create accidents. It can create a situation where maybe we're, again, we don't want to have the self-sabotage moment just because we think it's safe to shake it up that way. So if you've been feeling tempted to do something impulsively, reel it in. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Page of Wands upright beautiful card for love and romance because there is an invitation coming your way. The, in fact, honestly, this may be exactly what the doctor ordered. It's maybe connecting to that Sun and Pluto uh, connection in between your partnership sector and your friendship sector because we have more sociability with a partner or with a crush. In fact, we may be finding that somebody is asking us out this week in the, in the form of an invitation in that regard or that a partner is suddenly deciding that they want to push for more active and extroverted social activity with you. And sometimes we like that. Sometimes, it, you know, it's kind of nice to know that our partner wants us to have a more public life as a couple, um, that they want to introduce us to their friends, they want to integrate, they want us to see that side of their lives when we're not normally always around. But an invitation to go to a place where you're not usually used to going with your sweetheart may actually be the change that you would really want to see, you know, again, to evolve this relationship into a deeper, closer connection. So that is your horoscope, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.